I just played through a full season using my 4-3 Seahawks LOB defense. I use these four main defensive looks through all the games in today's video. Then I have three goals that I must hit over the course of the year. The LOB Hawks are one of the most dynamic and exciting defenses ever, and they had so many playmakers. So to hit this goal, we must get 20 plus sacks and interceptions combined over the season. Then the LOB, if given the opportunity, would strangle out their opponent and not give them an inch. And they actually led the NFL in scoring defense four years in a row. To hit this goal, we must hold our opponents under 10 points per game over the course of the season. Then the Legion of Boom secondary is maybe the greatest the NFL has ever seen. Three Hall of Fame level playmakers on the back end. So with that in mind, I have to hold offenses to a sub 70 passer rating to accomplish this goal. Now for each goal I fail to hit, I'll be giving away a $50 Visa gift card away in the comments. Now there is one formation that the Hawks were known for above all else, and it was the four Four, three under. This was a four down lineman front with three linebackers, but the Sam backer would actually walk down over the tight end and it gave the Hawks a killer run defense up front to dominate the offensive line, but still allowed them to run their main coverage looks on the back end. Then the Hawks lived in a single high defensive look with Earl Thomas up top, then Cam Chancellor coming down in the box like another linebacker. And we are going to do the same in this defense. And we are always going to start in a single high look with this auto safety walk down defense. Then the Hawks were based around two main coverages, cover three and cover one man. So these will be our two main coverages. And I have two versions of cover three in this video, one that is a lockdown coverage. And then another that has a blitz element while still having a cover three zone on the back end. Then we will utilize this cover one that has a deep high safety to help limit big plays over the top. But this also has a blitz element so we can get pressure in at the QB. Now, all four of these calls will be based out of four, three under and four, three over solid in the Seahawks playbook. This is all a part of my Seahawks LOB defensive scheme where I will have five to six videos giving you the most complete defensive scheme possible. Then check the description of this video for a playlist with the whole LOB Seahawks defensive scheme. All right, game one, and we are starting out on offense and we get this huge completion down the field and then we get this quick inside C route and we go in for the score. Then starting out on defense, we use our cross man defensive and we're able to step in front here, go the other way with the football for a pick six with our lock down coverage. Then coming out on defense once again, and he really couldn't get much going on this drive. We were forcing incompletions all over the field, and we ended off with a pick in the end zone, and then he quits out, giving us a 14-0 win and a 1-0 start after game one. Then coming out in game two, and we were able to go right down and pick up a quick score. Then defensively, we came out and get a big sack with quick edge pressure firing in at the quarterback. Then the next play, I step in front with my user, and we were going the other way for a pick six to put us up 14 nothing once again. And that gives us a quick 2-0 start to the season. And then right here is where we sit through two games with each one of our goals. This crossman defense will be our main go-to answer for defending the pass in this LOB scheme. This is the most adaptable coverage in all of Madden. It allows us to man up two players on the offense, and then we can have the rest of our D in zone, and we can still rush four. So this gives us the capabilities to X out two of their best weapons on offense with our man coverage. And then if they have routes they are consistently going to or a number one receiver they are throwing the ball to a ton, we can lock these players up and make a ton of plays. Now to set this up for coaching adjustments for this whole defense, turn auto alignment to base and keep match coverage off. Then set your audibles on defense like this. So we always want to come out and SS blitz one in 4-3 over solid, then audible over to FS fire three in 4-3 under. So now we will have our safety walk down into this eight man box look. Then we actually want to take this safety and we can man him up on any player on the field. Then same with the linebacker and the three receiver hook. He can be manned up on any player on the field as well. So you want to man up both these players. Then we want to use the middle high safety on this play. Now we have two main ways that we are going to man up players in this defense with the first being cross man. This is where we will man up players on the opposite side of the field. So usually it will be the two slots in a two by two set. This is perfect for when these players run across the field on something like a deep cross. Then they will be running right to your man coverage player and now we can totally wipe out these routes. Then the other type would be straight up man. Now this is where you're going to man up players on the same side as your defender. This is best at taking vertical routes to that side. So if they ran four verts up the field, then we will just run for them step for step and shut these players down or something like flood and corner routes. Now we're going to run with these players in man coverage and totally take these away. Now for most formations, you want to man the inside players up. So the slots or tight ends, this is because these 
these players can go anywhere on the field and they are going to get the ball a ton. Now on this play, we will be using the high safety. So now your job is to play the deep middle. And if we see anyone come free, then we want to pick them up and not let them get deep in behind us. Then if we see everyone is locked up deep down the field, now we can actually get aggressive, shallow over the middle and step up and make plays on the football. Then moving into game three, and we start with two cross man looks that are really able to lock him down and give him no easy options. And he starts off with two quick incompletions. Then on third down, he tries to go up the seam and completes it, but we rally to the ball and punch it out and we scoop it up and we're going the other way with the football. Then we get a quick score to go up seven, nothing. And over the next two drives, we really just completely locked him down, giving him nothing open down the field and getting a ton of pressure in at the QB. We were able to get him to third down and I had a feeling he was once again going to try the seam. So I jump it. And we are going down with the football once again. Then offensively, hit a big deep shot down the field and we are up 14, nothing. Back out on D and at the start of this drive, we give him nothing and really have lockdown coverage all over the field. And he wasn't able to get much going, but then we decide to bring our zero man blitz and the linebacker comes in free and we almost get home, but he's able to avoid the pressure, fire it in and pick up a big pickup down the field. Then he gets down to our one yard line and punches it in. Back out on O and we do have a bit of a drive going, but then I throw a pick and he's going the other way with the ball and we have a ball game. And we come out with our four man blitz and we really have everything taken away down the field, but he buys some time and he's able to fire this in deep down the field, just out of the reach of my user. He makes some people miss and he is able to score. Then on offense, we drive down pretty easily with some big passes, get down to the one yard line and punch it in. But then he's able to hit this big shot down the middle over my head and he is able to score. So going into the fourth quarter, I'm up four with him getting the ball again. He has quad father activated, breaks one tackle and he's gone for a 75 yard touchdown run to go up three late in the fourth quarter. But then on offense, we have a perfect drive, picking him apart through the air and wearing out the clock. And we get it down to 20 seconds left in the game before we punch it in from the one yard line. Then we give him absolutely nothing on offense. We get zeros on the clock. He throws it in the dirt and we pick up the four point victory, giving us a three and O start to the season. Okay, starting game four and we come out on offense and we go down and get a really quick score once again. Then coming out and over the course of the first quarter, he had absolutely nothing. We had a ton of QB hits and sacks and just pressure all over the QB. And we had our cross man coverage locking him up and giving him no easy places to go with the football. Then we get the ball back on O and we hit this deep shot down the field and go up 14 rip. Then his next drive was a ton of the same. He couldn't get anything going and he was having a tough time knowing where we were bringing pressure or where we were dropping out with our cross man defense. And he really couldn't move the ball at all. Then we get the ball back. We hit a deep shot down into the back corner and go up 21 nothing. But then to end the half, he finally gets a bit of a drive going. And with 12 seconds left, he's able to hit this shot in the end zone and it is 21 seven at half. Then the second half, he's able to get a bit of a drive going once again with some quick passes and just taking what is there before getting inside the five and punching it in. Then back on O and we bust it to the outside with this keeper with Hertz and we pick up an 80 yard run. And this is massive to put us back up 14 with around two minutes left in the game. Then on D, he's able to move the ball a little bit. He hits a decent pass on us, but then he throws it into coverage. We come down with it. We're going the other way to seal this game. Give us a 14 point win and a 4-0 start to the season. Now we're going to be employing a cover three defense with a single high safety and using more of a classic cover three zone coverage behind it. But now also we are gonna have a blitz element on this play where our safety is gonna be firing in unblocked and we're gonna get crazy pressure in at the QB. Then we're also gonna be dropping our defensive end into coverage over the middle. So now we're gonna have seven players dropping into zone and only rushing four and we're still gonna get a free blitzer in at the quarterback. To set this up, once again, make sure your audibles are set this way. And then we wanna come out and SS blitz one in four three over solid then audible over to FS fire three in four, three under. Then we want to slant our D line to the walk down blitzing safety. Then take the D end on the opposite side of the blitzer and bluff blitz him. This will put him in a three receiver hook. Then take the linebacker that's in a three receiver hook and walk him down and in about one step. And that is the whole setup. Now this is going to give us some really solid coverage over the middle of the field with multiple hooks, really taking away the easy options. Then as a user, we know the blitz will be bringing the heat and they're going to get the ball out 
out quick. So we want to be super aggressive over the middle and, and jump anything we see breaking open. Then for the blitz, if they send everyone out on routes, then this safety will come free off the edge every time. This is super powerful to pair with our crossman coverage because they will send everyone out on routes to try to beat that coverage. But then you mix in this blitz, you will catch them off guard and you're going to get crazy pressure and rack up a ton of sacks. Then if you want to take this LOB defense to the next level, you need to check out my website, Scheme Kings. Up right now is part two of this video where I break down four more defensive setups out of these two formations in today's video to give you so many more options to lock down your opponent. Then there is a ton more already up on the site for this Seahawks LOB defense to give you a ton of other options. Then also on the site are all my past schemes like my NCAA spread offense, my Chiefs West Coast spread offense, and so many more. Also on the site, you can get access to my playbooks, which are full written breakdowns for my schemes with three out so far and the newest being my spread offense that is a 90 page long book. Then up on the site right now, I'm also running a sale. You can use code LOB at checkout for 50% off your first month. Now, if you want to check out Scheme Kings, I will leave a link for it down in the description below. So game five, and we were starting out on D and we give them nothing early, just a couple of one yard pickups. Then on third down, we have a blitz coming off the edge. I step in front of the football and I'm going the other way with a user pick, but I actually get held the three points and then he gets the ball back and we really start to crank up the pressure, bringing some blitzes and we force two incompletions when we hit him as he throws the ball. Then on third down, he gets pressured again, tries to force the ball in and we pick him and we are going the other way with the ball for a pick six to go up 10. Then back on D and this guy really couldn't get anything going. And now we use our crossman defense to step in front. We pick him off for the third time in the first quarter. Then we score quickly once again. Then he gets a ball back. He does get a bit of a drive going. He's able to move the ball inside the red zone and he's able to fire it in and cut my lead down to 10. But then once again, we drive right down the field on him and we drop this absolute strike in the back corner of the end zone. Then back on D, we hit him with the cross man again. He has nothing open. He has to chuck it into the ground. Then we bring our cover three blitz and he throws it up one more time. We pick him off once again and he quits out giving us a 24-7 win and a 5-0 and start to the season. So here's our goals for this season and where they sit so far. So each one is definitely within striking distance. Then the other coverage that the Hawks played a ton of was cover one. And we are going to have an amazing version ourselves. This will be a single high defense that looks identical to our cross man pre-snap. But now we will have man coverage across the board. And this is a great curveball to throw off the offense to catch them off guard and give them another look. But this also has one more wrinkle in it. We actually have a blitz element with our safety firing off the edge. And if they send everyone out on routes, now we will get the edge rusher free firing in at the QB completely unblocked. To set this up, once again, make sure your audibles are set like this. Then we always want to come out and SS Blitz 1 in 4-3 over solid, then audible to FS Fire 1 in 4-3 under. Then here we want to slant the D line to the blitzing safety side, then take the LB on the opposite side of the walk down safety and bring him down and in one step. And we also want to QB contain on this play, and that is the whole setup. Now this is going to give us some really good coverage on the outside with our man coverage doing a great job, especially with us being able to disguise when we call it, making it super tough to attack. Then as a user, if your player leaves on a route, then you just want to turn and run with them. And if they throw it, you want to step in front and make up play. Then for the blitz aspect of this play, if the running back leaves on a route, this blitz will come in completely free and it will be on top of the QB before he even has time to react. And when you add this with the coverage elements, this whole play becomes very tough to attack. Then this can also be a very good run defense with eight players in the box and the eight will usually stuff up most runs on the inside with ease. Then the safety on the edge makes it so super tough to get the runs to the outside. Then if they are running the ball a ton, I actually like to call this defense and then I'll use the single high safety. Then I can come downhill super fast and be aggressive and really just try to make some big plays on the ball carrier, making it super tough for them to get their run game going. Then game six, and this is the divisional round of the playoffs. And he starts by running the ball and he gets absolutely nothing on his first two carries. Then we bring this nasty zero blitz and pops him for a huge loss on the play. Then on offense, we hit this big tight end shot deep down the field and score to go up seven rip. Then back out on D and we get him to third and seven and we try to bring our blitz, but he's able to block it up, buy some time and hit a receiver for a 30 yard gain down the field, but he can't capitalize. We lock him down once he gets down near the red zone and he's forced to kick a field goal and it is seven three. Then back on O and we drive down, get it down to his 10 and we're able to fire this inside breaking C route once again.
again for another score. Then back on Dean, he really can't get much going at all. We lock him up. He gets down to fourth and 12. We bring the heater. He has to get rid of it. He throws it into coverage and we pick him off. Then we get the ball back. We get another quick score. We go up 21-3 and he quits out. This gives us a 6-0 and start to the season and we are off to the AFC Championship game. Then when we really want to crank up the pressure, we have this great zero-man blitz look that will have us rushing six people and we will get in on the QB before he even knows what hits him. This will also come in even if they block their running back, making it a great way to get reliable, fast pressure. To set this up, once again, make sure your audibles are set this way. Then we want to come out in SS Blitz 1 in 4-3 over solid, then audible over to Hammer 0 Blast in 4-3 over solid. Now here we want to manually blitz the linebacker that is in man coverage. Then you want to use her the LB who is on the same side as the walk down safety and bring him down so his heels are in line with the D tackle on his side. Now here we are obviously running a zero blitz so it'll be straight ones across the board but as long as your blitz can get home you don't need to cover for very long and you should be able to make some plays in coverage. Then as a user you are responsible for the player without anybody assigned to him in man coverage and if it's a running back and he goes out on a route or if it's a receiver going up the field you just want to turn run with them and if the ball goes their way you want to try to step in front and make a play. Then for the blitz aspect of this play if they send everyone out on routes then we will have this linebacker firing up the a gap in his face to blow up the QB. Then you will also get this edge player unblock bearing down on the QB trying to make a play as well. Then if they keep their running back in the block he's actually going to kick out and block the edge player leaving the blitzing linebacker completely unblocked through the a gap coming in so fast it'll be super tough to make a play. This is what makes this blitz so good. We don't need to wait for the edge player to loop around. We have the linebacker coming in right down Main Street. Then moving on to game seven and we are one game away from the Super Bowl and we start out on offense and we're able to go down and score a touchdown taking up most of the first quarter. Then coming out on defense and it's a good start. We're locking him down using a bunch of cross man and he really didn't have many answers for it and we were playing great defense but then I decided to bring up blitz and as the user I lose the running back who was my man and he squeaks out and is wide open. He fires it in and he's able to score a huge touchdown to tie it up. Then back on offense and I throw it up into coverage and he comes down with it, goes the other way for a pick six, putting him up seven in the second quarter and we got a game on our hands. But then we get the ball back, we're able to drive it down and score to tie it up at 14. But then on defense and I'm trying to make adjustments and I actually get stuck on my cornerback and I pull him inside as I'm trying to change players. He sees this and he's able to fire this in along the sideline, puts him within field goal range and he kicks it to go up three at half. Then to start the half, he gets the ball and our defense is playing well. We are getting pressure, forcing incompletions. He is able to drive it down to our red zone a little bit, but then he has nothing open, throws it to coverage, and we come down with it for a huge pick in the fourth quarter. Then he calls man coverage. We go to this nasty corner route. Tyreek breaks free and we hit him in stride as he streaks up the sideline for a huge score to put us up four points with two minutes left. Back on defense, on the first play, we lock him up. He has absolutely nothing. But then on the second play, as I'm adjusting, Thing, I accidentally blitz my safety and click onto my D tackle. So about the worst case scenario, and he hits this bomb in over my head to get down to the 31 yard line. Then he's able to run down the clock and finally punch it in with 30 seconds left. So we are really in a tough spot. Then with 12 seconds left, we need to hit something big down the field. And I try to throw in this corner route, but he's able to undercut the football to wrap up this game. And we come up one game short of making the Super Bowl. But overall, we went six and one on this season and with this D we really made it tough to move the ball on us at all. Then to wrap up our final goals for the season we finished with 21 sacks and interceptions to knock off that goal. Then for passer rating here was the final stats for these three defenses and all of that led to a 67.4 passer rating allowing us to live up to the name Legion of Boom. Then we allowed 11.2 points a game and we came up just short from our goal of under 10 so that means we fell short on one goal. So we will be giving away a $50 visa in the comments. Make sure you leave a comment on this video and join my Discord to enter. Now this 4-3 defense is gonna lock down your opponent, but to use this LOB scheme to its full potential, you need to use the right personnel and abilities. So to get a full breakdown of them, plus a history of the LOB Seahawks, you need to check out this video right here.